Okay, so this is the whole rack of ribs that you buy at the store. Um, you can see how wide it is. This all up here is the rib tips that we're gonna talk about. Always turn it over. You can see better from here. I call this a left hand when it starts from this side. But a couple things. Um, this flap right here needs to come off. So we're gonna cut, just, just gonna cut that off. All the way down to where it's going. You can use that in beans if you want. Come into your third knuckle. The third one here, one, two, three. Third and fourth right here. And at the top of those right here, there's an indention. You can feel it. Every one of those has an indention at the top. You want to cut along those indentions. So make sure your ribs are setting straight. You take your knife right along there. I always start with the fourth one and cut back. No, it's not very sharp today. I should have sharpened it before I did this. And then you want to cut a straight line all the way to the end. Like that. Those are your rib tips. That's your cartilage pieces in here. This is all good meat. You can use in beans or you can, um, you can cook them and treat them like ribs. You've already cut this piece off. Then you're gonna peel the membrane. These are all sticky. Hope this comes off easy. Yep, no problem. Membrane gone. Turn it over. A lot of people, especially if you're selling them, will cut this piece right here off. I'll do it this time. I don't always do it, but cut it off because it just squares it up. You can see it's a little more square now. But that is St. Louis style ribs. Probably could cut a little more off at the top up here, but I'm not going to mess with it. It's fine like it is. Um, there might be just a little bit of, yeah, that little cartilage piece right there. So I'll probably just try it there. It just squares it up a little bit more and I got rid of that piece. So that's it. You can trim this if you want. I never really mess with it, but that's it. St. Louis style ribs.